No, you <laughs> need the, you need the authorization before you can do that. Oh really? I didn't know that. Uh, we, where do, I don't get that. All right. Can you stop what you're doing now? Um, no, I can't do that now. All right. Can you move it? No. So, welcome back to the uh, channel everyone, uh, I hope you are all well. Uh, today we are out and about in London uh, and we're going to take a look at uh, the Royal Mail uh, head office who are la located at 185 Farringdon Road in an EC1 uh, postcode which is uh, maintainable at the public expense. So a bit of a background information uh, on the Royal Mail. Now, uh, the um, the office serves uh, as a central administrative um, hub for the Royal Mail and it's the primary postal service in the UK. Now, Royal Mail manages the postal system, including mail collection, sorting and delivery across the country. Now, the headquarters houses various departments. Just zoom in on, on that so you can see there's a lot of building work going, uh, going on by the, uh, the looks of it. And uh, yeah, so it has its various departments uh, who are responsible for overseeing the company's operations, logistics, customer service and strategic planning. And it may uh, also serve as a key contact point for corporate inquiries and uh, partnerships as well. Now, a bit of uh, additional information about the Royal Mail uh, shows that the Royal Mail was founded by the one and only Henry VIII in 1516. And um, Master of the Posts became a public service on the 31st of July 1635 and on the 29th of December 1660 uh, the Post Office Act came into uh, force. Now the non-executive chairman is Keith Williams, CBE and uh, he happens to also be the chairman of Halfords and was previously uh, the Chief Executive Officer or CEO of British Airways and John Lewis and the Group Chief Executive Officer is Martin Seidenberg. Now the Royal Mail uh, also has a, a few subsidiaries as well uh, and they are eCourier, Store Feeder and Intersoft Systems and Programming. And the Royal Mail is regulated by the government, by uh, the Ofcom department, and consumer interests are represented by the Citizens, uh, Citizens uh, Advice Bureau. Now, as of December 2023, Royal Mail, now you ain't going to believe this, Royal Mail has been fined a total of £58,336,000 for regulation breaches and in November 2023 alone they were fined 5.6 million for uh, missing delivery targets so uh, not uh, not good so let's have a uh, look around shall we at the, uh, at the headquarters of the uh, of the Royal Mail I've done a few Royal Mail delivery offices so I thought I'll pay the uh, the actual head office uh, uh, a visit uh, I'm not sure if this has been audited yet. Previously, let's just get across the road. Just on my uh, pocket two at the moment. I've got my main zoom camera with me as well, and I use that if I uh, if needs be. So I stand this side of the road, and I cross into some get a thing. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of building work going on. Lots of scaffolding. And the scaffolding's been done by Ideal. This bus go past. Just zooming on the sign. Ideal uh, Scaffolding Southern Limited. So just down this side of the road, first of all, and I will cross over uh, in a sec to zoom out. Just so you can get the size. So, so it's across four floors, so you've got a ground floor and three additional floors. When you look on uh, Google Maps, this bit here is uh, you know, under construction it shows, so it's not at this stage. So I wonder if all that right down the end is going to be a part of the Royal Mail as well. I'll go down and have a look at the signs.
No, it's just like a accommodation uh, over that side, just zoom in, so that's nothing to do with the Royal Mail. Bit of trouble getting a cross here. Let's go down to the uh, crossing. So let's have a bit of walking along music while I make my way uh, across the road. I'm just going to uh, switch to my uh, other camera in a second as well. So I just switched to my uh, the other camera guys, just so I can uh, get the zoom in and out. So the post office is sort of down there, so I'll zoom in on, on that. So I'll just get across this road and then uh, I'll do the speeding up music again. The, uh, at the Royal Mail Heads Office. So this is where the vans go, uh, go in and out, the delivery vans. So it looks like they've got an underground part as well. It's nice and secure. Maybe a little bit of a security hut just here. So I'm not sure if you can see into, into that reflective glass. So the sign says uh, East Platform no other route so east platform to the left we've got north tunnel road goes down there so do not tailgate no pedestrians in this area and on this side so I said you've got to I'm not sure it's going to pick it up so it goes underground so it's nice to sign there beware moving vehicles that's for pedestrians that cross in the road Royal Mail sign See a lorry down the back, I'll zoom in, I don't know if you can see that. Not sure if it's gonna go through the fence if the zoom's gonna pick it up. Got a marble sign there, it says on the side of the truck there. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is gonna what this bit's gonna be, but it's gonna be a car park. Well, it's going to be another part of building where people work. So there's the scaffolding. The sun in my eyes just there. So a bit of litter scattered around. Why am I filming? Yeah. It's for me. Just doing a video. Video for what? For me? Yeah, about the uh, post office. 
Right. At the Royal so, Mail? No, you <laughs> need the, you need the authorization before you can do that. Oh really? I didn't know that. Uh, we, where do I don't get that? Alright, can you stop what you're doing now? Um no, I can't do that now. Alright, can you move them? No. Who who are you? Who, who are you? No, you need authorization or something. Who who from? Sorry? Who from? Well, I'm not telling you. Yeah, you can't write so to, I, yeah, you can't write to Royal right, Mail. Right, so Royal Mail have to give me authorization to film on the public highway, yeah? No, you pop, you actually. I'm not inside. Yet. I'm not inside there. Well, you security. So you're not talking to me now. So you security for the Royal Mail, or just a member of the public, or representative of the Royal Mail? For security, where's your SOA license? You can't tell me what to do in the public high road, mate. I've got the uniform, so you can see that. Zoom in on the uniform there. Some mannequin. And there's another one down back, just, just there. Zoom that. So 185 Farringdon Road. Playing silly games now, you're gonna block the camera. Yeah, you're not tall enough, mate. Yeah, you're not tall enough. Still seeing. Bit childish, isn't it, walking in front of the camera? Before you start giving directives to members of the public, learn the law. Because you just made yourself sound stupid on YouTube. Right, let's kind of have a look at the rest of it. It's always one, isn't there? So it's good that they've got the uh, all the ground floor windows all blocked out, so creating uh, privacy. So that's good to see. And you've got a, a post office just around the uh, around the front. You've got a fire exit just here. So CCTV in operation. It's good that they've got that, but it doesn't tell you how to uh, request the request data. It doesn't say the data controller is, but there is a, you can scan, if I just zoom in on that, you can scan that, and that may give you the information. I'm not gonna try and have a look. You can do that yourselves uh, if you want to. So this is an historic site, just zoom in on that sign. So Coppice Road Turnpike stood here, 1750 to 1830. I'll stick in some details uh, about that as well. And it's what you got here, you've got Mount Pleasant uh, sort of post office here. So as you know, post office is separate from the Royal Mail. There's a, as you know, there's a big inquiry going on at the moment about the post office. And, uh, Mr. Bates, uh, gave evidence yesterday to the inquiry but that's the uh, the post office I'm not doing the post office today I do uh, the post office said office on a on a different visit some more interest in the Royal Mail Just 
film the uh, just the last bit here. Yeah, it's gone now, that security guard. Make you laugh, don't I? Can't film in public. Okay, guys, just a, a short, uh, probably just a short video. We're just stand here for a couple of minutes, then we'll get some vans going out. Should have bought a tripod with me. I didn't bring it today. It's making my arm out hurt. It's a bit bashed up on the side of that van. Nice tent on the side. So guys, just uh, the security guards come back out now. Just zoom in and in. Down there, let's go back up there. I see him pointing down, so let's go back up to get this van going out. Oh, took the zoom out. Decent right. stamp signs there. The driver gave me a bit of a nod, he probably knows the score. It's a great car down there, keeps. Looking down, wondering what I'm doing. So I've got a couple of vans to go and get one more. I'll stitch in uh, the overhead shot as well. Uh, the Google Maps shot, uh, zoom in with that so you can see uh, what it was like before this building works went on, unless it's been updated since the last time I looked, which was only about a week ago. But you never know if the, uh, the plane's gone over or the satellite's picked up a new image. But as soon as I started walking back up here, the security guard runs in, the big girl. Okay, right. Okay, guys, if you uh, if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a like. Please give it a share. And uh, also a big shout out to my first channel member, Dilly Gaff. Dilly Gaff's been following me for quite some time, so. Thanks for becoming a channel member, Billy Gaff, much appreciated. It's just 99 per month. It's a good way to support the uh, the channel. Uh, another way to support the channel, you can uh, buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash scorpion audits. So guys, until the next time, I'll see you in the next video, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.